the discussion now shall be about the character data type or the character type of data in c programming the character type of data occupies a single byte what it means is suppose i declare a character type of variable all right let's say i go ahead and declare something like this i say char x is equal to y okay i have declared a character type of variable in memory x is going to occupy one single byte the main or the important thing to understand about character data type is these character data types are not represented as a b i j x y internally they are represented in terms of ones and zeros what i mean by that is there is a coding system to represent all the characters on your keyboard for example a is represented with the decimal value 65 b is represented with the decimal value 66 this is capital a and capital b small a is represented with 97 small z is represented with 122 okay so using this representation 65 is converted into zeros and ones and that binary representation is used to represent a similarly 66 is used to represent b now using a binary code to represent the actual characters on the keyboard in terms of ones and zeros is called as representation using a character set there are many popular character sets available but the one you are most likely going to always encounter is going to be the ascii character set so what i talked about the values for characters were according to the ascii character set ascii stands for american standard code for information interchange there are others also like unicode to handle multiple languages in the world but ascii is very popular and that's probably the only one you are going to end up encountering so machines to machines may have different character sets but as i said the chances of you encountering ascii is very high let me try to give you a further clarification on understanding of the character data type suppose i declare a variable called as data of the type char and i give it the initial value n in data this alphabet n is not going to be stored its character set representation in terms of zeros and ones is going to be stored basically in c characters are simply treated as integers that means instead of n you can think of it as a number suppose i had given char x is equal to character a you can think of char containing the integer value 65 so to start with the ascii value of a is 65 so suppose you do some arithmetic like this i say int j is equal to 0 and i say j is assign the value j plus character a what will happen is it will add 0 plus 65 so j will end up becoming now 65 so if a character appears in calculations it is treated as integers for example int i i have declared it as character a plus 10 what is the ascii value of a it is 65 so 65 is added to 10 so i will contain the value 75 just as you have signed int and unsigned int you have signed char and unsigned char if it's a signed type of a character that means you have only 7 bits available for you to represent because one is going to be the signed bit so the range of a signed character is minus 128 to plus 127 given by this particular formula 2 raised to n minus 1 to 2 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 so if you totally look at it you are representing 256 characters in 7 bits which makes sense because you're starting from 0 all the way till minus 128 and plus 127 and unsigned char okay is going to represent from 0 to 255 because in unsigned there is no value of 0 available sorry there is no sign required it is going to use all the positive sides only now just to refresh something really important in c programming a character simply holds an ascii value or an integer number between 0 and 127 rather than that character itself that value is known as the ascii value to clarify that concept take a look at a small piece of code here i am using a c program to print the ascii value of a character so what i am doing here is i am trying to print 
this a as well as the ascii value of this so i've initialized c to a okay now what i'm saying is the ascii value of so till here it's going to print as it is where it is percentage c since c represents characters it's going to print a now when i do percentage d its ascii value as 65 is going to be printed so i hope this clarifies your understanding of ascii characters